going on everybody we are back well i am back angelina's actually at work right now it's tuesday so decide have an off day gonna go work on the bus the two by fours angelina actually went out sunday when i was at work and she bought all of that which was very helpful and she had it cut and she also bought the insulation the three-fourths inch insulation that we're going to use for the floors so we're just gonna pretty much pattern it out Everything's cut, everything's already done. I try to drill it in and then cut the insulation in the smaller pieces that fit the alignments inside the grid. Um, besides that, I'm gonna throw on a little time lapse, see what I can get, see if it comes out nice. I'll probably mess up a couple times, but it's all good. It's part of the experience, it's fun. Um, but yeah, after I cut those, put them in the grids, we then have to go buy uh, basically a sub flooring just to lay on top of it so we sandwich the insulation in and then we're putting our actual flooring on and then that's that's the end of the flooring pretty much that's that's when the boring parts over we start getting fun with all the electrical stuff and everything so all right i'll put in a time lapse Down the rabbit hole again And as I fall I can feel the pain You can tell me where to go So I don't know and just go with the flow Me and Angelina just went to Lowe's and picked up the final sheeting of plywood. It's just it's just small subflooring. No, but a, um, we picked up the uh, the plywood, just something thin to lay it to lay it down over the uh, the insulation that we gridded down. As you can see, we're going to take this and with these pieces right here. We're gonna go ahead and take that and a um, drill, the really thin plywood subflooring into the wood. And it should, it should be a clean path to walk on. It'll be perfectly insulated. So everything's pretty much done with the floor once we get this stuff in. So thank you for joining us on the flooring part. We'll see you when the final product's done. Come on, over here. Farmly, over here. <laughs> Run the other way. He's gone. He left. He left. Aww. He left. Aww. Oh, pull the machine already installed. <laughs> so it's so homey now. You have a rug. Hi. Okay, so today I am building the boxes for the wheel wells. Um, I think ours are quite a bit smaller than most schoolies and shuttle buses, so I guess we're lucky in that department. Um, they're a bit wide, but that's all right. I think the process should be decently easy. I got a huge piece of this three quarter inch pressure treated plywood, the same that we use for the subfloor underneath these for 70% off. So it was like $14. Um, I think I can get it done before dark. I just got off work. It's 5 p.m. We're gonna try to get it done. I'm gonna build this box around both of these and then I'm going to fill it with this insulation that I have here. 
We'll see how well that works. I'm also gonna try to make another box to go around the gas tank because Trevor tried to make this one and it's kind of ugly. So I have some scrap wood and some extra time. I'm gonna see what I can do. It does not usually run that smoothly. I'm very impressed <laughs> with myself. Liquid nail. Ouch. Yeah. I can't reach it down here. Look. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> We got the goods, guys. Right, babe? Yeah. He said, yeah. Pretty, huh? gap filler. I will tell you that every single day that I hate gap filler. It's really ugly, but it does the job. So I'm just going to fill it with this 85% recycled material insulation like we did the other box. And that probably goes in pretty easy because the last time we almost died from asphyxiation. Oh goodness. Ta-da. Oh, we should be wearing a mask. Do you like my boxes? 